Yes. Yep. But Matthew will be bringing us an inside look at what we can expect later on today. We yeah. know the forecast is a big one, Lindsay, and I don't know if you could have ordered up a better one. It looks so good, especially tomorrow for race day. We've got a few changes. Uh, compared to yesterday's perfect weather, mm -hmm. we're mainly going to be some increased clouds, which I don't think a lot of folks are going to complain about because it's going to make it feel a little bit better outside without the sun kind of beating down. So I wanted to start with a look at the bigger picture and the pattern that we're going to see play out over the next 48 to 72 hours. We've got this dome of high pressure to our north, and that's really going to keep a lot of that cloud cover at bay to our south for today. But as we advance this a little farther, we've got this area of low pressure that's going to come in off of the east coast. Some moisture associated with that. So we're essentially sitting in the battleground between high pressure and sunshine and this deepening area of low pressure to our south, which would increase cloud cover. I do expect the clouds to win out for today. Might even see a strong Ray sprinkle late tonight into the early morning hours of Sunday, but we take you all the way into Monday where this area of high pressure will continue to push south and that means the rainy system south of us will be having less of an impact. So it does look like overall, yes, we'll see more clouds this weekend, but we do look to stay mainly dry. In fact, over the next few hours, we've got a cool and crisp start to our busy weekend. 54 as we head into 8 a.m., eventually up to about 69 during the 11 o'clock hour. If you are headed downtown for the 500 Festival Parade, clouds will continue to increase as we get into the afternoon hours today as temperatures continue to warm back to the 70s and eventually approaching 84 forecast high this afternoon. 79s from Muncie to Richmond will go 81 in Greencastle later today. And as far as the changing sky conditions, we'll put future track into motion. Pause here around 5 p.m. Noticing that the clouds will start to increase at this point. And then we get into the evening tonight. There's again a little bit of moisture that we can tap into. Uh, the stray shower chance that we've got late tonight into early Sunday morning, not something I would cancel any plans over. It'll be in, it'll be out, and most of us stay completely dry and really don't have to worry about it anyway. This is 7 a.m. on Sunday. Now we're getting into race day. Of course, at 6 a.m. That's when the gates will open at the Motor Speedway for the 107th running of the Indy 500. Going to be a cooler start to the day with those mostly cloudy skies. Eventually, we're going to see more sunshine as the day plays on. Green flag will be around 1245 and low 70s at that point. Looks like we're going to stay in the 70s tomorrow. Here's the latest timeline on tomorrow's uh, future track as we pause here around 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Again, any rain chance does look to stay at bay to our south and our southeast, down closer to Louisville to Cincinnati. We're just looking at some increased clouds here. This is through 1 o'clock as we get you into the afternoon. Does look like temperatures will kind of hold steady there in that upper 70s, low 80s zone. That takes us through 6 p.m. on Sunday. Day. And then already looking ahead at Memorial Day, we'll keep some lingering cloud cover going, of course, but then Monday afternoon looking good as your temperature starts to increase here. It looks like most of us come Memorial Day afternoon, going to be back in the mid 80s, and that will kick off a major warming trend into next week. So we've got 84, partly sunny, and then eventually up into the upper 80s as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, mostly sunny and hot. Looks like we could have our first few 90 degree days of the season later in the week. Thursday and Friday looking at highs nearing 90 and then a frontal system next Friday could take those temperatures back to a more seasonal number for next weekend. But overall pattern looks pretty good, especially if you like the heat.